Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sandy Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. By the way, this is a video for the Midnight Society. That's why it's dark because a lot of you guys are wondering, where is the pictures? Where are the gifts? Where are the videos? And stuff like that. So basically when I do these videos, live videos, this is a live video of me talking. It's not pre-recorded or anything like that. So I just do this video so I can and talk with you guys and get your thoughts on it because some of you guys are so confused when you see the screen is black. That's because we are doing this video before midnight and this is for the Midnight Society, for the tribe that stays up late like I do. So I do these live videos before I go to bed. So if you're watching this video, give this video a thumbs up. We are going to be to show the world that her man is making money and the way Simon looked on this laptop when Portia was behind him taking the screen. You look like my teacher when I was grade eight. Like I started learning computer. Don't you guys hate that when you have a boss or just a teacher that's behind you and you're trying to type and you're still learning how to type or you're really trying to focus on reading what's on the computer screen like you, Simon. He's trying desperately to like look like he knows what he's doing. And Portia just has her hand on his shoulder and the guy looks stressed out like his and stuff, you know, and how like his eyes just come out like he looks like he's anxiety and stressed out and nervous as well trying to prove to his they look like they were in a hotel and it was in private like i don't know who shows this kind of stuff online it's just it's not even necessary is it i mean I, did, I just never seen something like this you guys let me know what you think i'm gonna make this video very short uh but it was just really bizarre and i want to thank you guys that sent this over to me i'm just like she's just doing the most this is becoming too much you know just the other day she buys him a ring an engagement ring and in the middle of tiffany she's wearing her swimsuit um he's drinking at tiffany's oh my gosh what else and then now all of a sudden today she's trying to show us that the guy has money but we know that portia has money because as far as i know um, allegedly you know me and simon we're pretty much at the same level we're both you know bloggers vloggers um also what else do we have in common um yeah we're bloggers we're vloggers and there's something else that me and simon have in common yeah we're both part of the same social class as well we're also middle class you know because allegedly he's not even worth 40 million this is just a middle class man um that his fiance portia is trying to actually level up you know she's trying to invest in him she's sponsoring him and she's so proud of it and it's just you ladies this is a no-no this is a no-no like what you're seeing now like remember at the beginning when i first started telling you guys that this relationship is not right and this was months ago and look at just how things are unfolding between these people you know for some of you guys that were like she's winning you know she she's she's the um she, what is she what are you guys what's the fact saying again yeah like she won um you know she's the prize or something like that or simon's the prize something pathetic like that you know and just we're watching this and it's not it's not hate you know you guys i noticed some of you guys just disagree with you it's like hate it's not hate i don't even know portia williams i don't even know dirty simon i don't know these people but just by observing them like is it necessary for somebody to be taking pictures of their fiance investing in stocks or trying to get shares of something is it necessary to do that it seems like attention seeking and this couple that's pretty much what they did you know they went to a birthday party that they were invited to in vegas and they made it all about them um, everybody's talking mostly about Portia proposing to Simon and buying him an engagement ring. Nobody even knows who Gerald is. Nobody, well, not nobody. Of course, people know who he is, but you know what I mean. He didn't get a lot of attention regarding his birthday and stuff. And he was the focus. He was the focus. But anyway, Portia's friends are such enablers. You know, that Gerald guy, Shamia, like, come on. The way they were acting when Portia was like crying and stuff. And then they were saying this is real love and giving Simon all this praise. The man hasn't even done anything. 
And if they're so in love, how come they just can't get married right now? Why do they have to wait until the year 2022? Nothing is stopping these people. They can get married tomorrow if they want to. Plus, they're in Vegas. They can get married the same day if they want to. But what's holding these people back in the first place? It just seems so put on and such a presentation. And that's what I've been talking about time and time again on this channel. It's Portia so desperate, you know, and she really believes that this man has more money than her. And according to credible sources, from what I'm hearing, no, Portia is actually the breadwinner here. Portia is actually the person that, you know, has the most money in this relationship. And the way Simon is seated up on that laptop and stuff, he looks like he's never, you know, like he can't even really type. He looked like he didn't even know what he was reading. Like she made this man go on these websites and t start taking pictures of this man. All right, a 59 year old man up top, and it's usually smudged and everything. Remember when I did that? And we know he has an empty office, you know, that just has a printer and a desk, and it's empty. He has no employees working for him as well. So, very bizarre. Still, we don't know what this man does. All we know is he has a background in accounting. And this is what I've heard from someone connected to one of his ex wives um, that said that he went to school for accounting when first came to the United States. But aside from that, I don't know much about Simon. And Portia is so desperate to prove to us that this man has money or he's working and, you know, he's provider. And um, <laughs> you know what, Libra, at first, that's what I thought too, because you know, when you stay in a hotel and you're trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and then you just have to put your room number and then uh, your last name, like your last name and your room number. But sometimes it's different. They might even ask you to put like your phone number as well and then your room number to verify you so you can get the internet. That's actually at first what I thought he was doing. But then one of our tribe members told me, Sunny, no, it looks like he's actually trying to buy like, you know, shares or stocks into the Hilton or something like that. So. I don't know. I won't be surprised if Portia even is paying for this trip. She's sponsoring everything, you guys. She's made this trip about Simon, not even about her friends. How selfish is this? I wouldn't want to have friends like this. I stay at the Hilton a lot, and I know that screen. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Okay, Libra, please don't make me laugh, you guys. It's very loud. It's um, like, very loud. My laugh is loud. <laughs> I mean, it's really late, so I don't want to laugh too much. You guys, please don't make me laugh. Bernita, good to see you here. If you're watching, give this video a thumbs up. Um, okay, so Libra Vibration says, I stay at the Hilton a lot, and I know that screen. You guys, I have to change the title of this. I thought Pacha was actually trying to help this man invest, you know, in shares or stocks or whatever. Um, but... This is just a man trying to log in and his fiance, Portia Williams. I'm, I'm, I tried to zoom in, but it was so like blurry and all I could see was the Hilton. But yeah, it was, a member of our tribe said it looked like they were trying to buy like stocks and stuff. And <laughs> Queen Mercy, I know, right? Oh, I know. You guys. Okay, maybe I should get going. It's so weird and bizarre. By the way, for this coming month, I might be doing a lot more um, live videos as well on my channel just because you guys it takes a lot of time to do my videos that i normally do um so i will be doing more live videos during the night time for the midnight society okay so bear with me. i'm i'm making some moves right now and doing things with my business and stuff so um once that's all done and stuff like that i'll be back to relaxing and getting some more videos for you guys some fun videos of course um, but I know that some of you guys don't like the live videos because it's dark and stuff like that. But this is the Midnight Society, you know, it's almost 12 a.m. So that's why I do this. And I've been doing this for years, actually, um, meeting up with the Midnight Society because I like to talk to you guys. Tiffany says, oh, my God, that is so embarrassing. Making pictures of anything to sell this spinoff. Exactly, you guys, they're doing the most. She's buying him the rings. You know, she's even trying to pretend like she likes Simon's mother, trying to fake kiss her. Remember when she wasn't even kissing her? It's just like, it's too much. If you're watching this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, let me know if you are currently taking pictures of your man on his computer. 
try to show everyone on Instagram that your husband or your fiance has a job or is currently working and logging into a hotel computer <laughs> or using your credit card to invest in stocks. Let's know. These people are all crazy. I need to <laughs> You guys, every single day, Portia and William, Portia Williams and, oh, sorry, I should just call her Portia Gobadia because I don't think she's the old Portia anymore, you guys. She's changed. She's no longer the same anymore. Ronnie, hi. See you, Ronnie. Ronnie Head, welcome. So good thought. Um, then again, it's Portia. Oh, yeah, true. You know, she's unpredictable, but according to um, some members of our tribe that are Nigerian, they believe that she's already under a spell, that she's not even who she is, you guys. Like, she's gone. She is gone. And I'm sorry, I have done so many videos all, like, all these months, and they're watching this stuff, and if this woman is not listening, I'm sorry. You know, there's been so many videos done here on YouTube to warn Portia, to tell her she's in trouble, she's not listening. She's also not listening to the ex as well, his third ex-wife, Ellen Pina. She has a YouTube channel. She's exposed Simon for being toxic and everything. Portia won't. So you guys, we're just here to document her story, you know, because that's pretty much it. You know, we're just documenting her story, her timeline. If you guys want to check out the playlist that I have on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, start from the beginning and you will see how bizarre this relationship has turned and unfolded. It says, hi fam, I get to see you guys. Welcome. Thanks so much for your support. I love you guys very much. I will do fun videos for you guys, but right now I'm busy with my business and stuff like that. So that's why I actually let me know your thoughts about Porsche, like literally behind Simon. Oh my God, she reminds me of a boss. Oh, actually, I've had so many like horrible bosses, but um, when I worked in an office, remember oh my goodness, just bosses like behind you while you're on the computer trying to finish a punch. They're behind. You. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Don't you guys hate that? Like, please stop standing behind me and watching me type on the computer and making me rush. Like, Simon looks so stressed out. Like, he can't even stand Portia, you guys. Like, the guy just looks frustrated. He's never relaxed. He's also performing for her as well, trying so hard to convince her that, you know, what he's doing she puts him in like in such a high esteem like she has him in such a high esteem like she really believes in this man you know hi deborah good to see you it's crazy yeah bernita it's it's pure madness it's pure madness but anyway we are here to document her story Portia Gobadia, we're here to document your story playlist where you can look back on your journey in this relationship. Dirty Simon. That's pretty much all you can do. She can look back in her life and be the subscribers to this channel is Portia Williams and Simon Gobadia. They're the most loyal. Okay, Simon, if you're watching, let's prove that you might need me some super chat, okay? <laughs> Let's prove that you have me, Simon, okay? Let's prove that you're not middle class. Send me some super chats, right? And since you have 40 million, you know, you can send a million, but maybe YouTube might like close my account. <laughs> you might be getting blocked right now. Please be on your best behavior. I do not want my subscribers to get blocked by Simon Gobadia because right now you guys are the only ones informing me about what's going on with him. If you guys get blocked by him, we're going to have no access to Dirty Simon and documenting his love story. Well, fake love story. Bert, I love you very much. Give this video a thumbs up if you are watching. And um, I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Until our next conversation. Have a hack night. And if you'd like to support me, get your copy of my ebook. It's called More Than Good Enough. And you can check out the video description. All right. And uh, be sure to connect with me on Instagram and watch the and please be doing over on this tribe of anything that he's doing. It's through you guys. When you guys contact me on Instagram about what he's doing, because I have no access to his page, you guys. You know I'm on the block list. Anyway, until our next conversation, give this video a thumbs up and uh, be sure to connect with me on Instagram as well at Sunday Omni. And if you'd like to support me, of course, get your copy of my ebook. I, it would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the chat and the conversation. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.